Hello, it's Jimmy here at Wellies again. So I've got a car that we've seen here before, uh, Peugeot 3008. It's not starting. Um, so we got it started before by bridging the, the power to play over, but shortly afterwards it wouldn't start again. So I did diagnose it at the time as a little control unit in here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so we've here now. We've got that part. So here is the part. So I just get it in the light where you can see there. It's the part number four there. It's the BPGA unit. And I'll show you how I diagnosed that last time. Okay, so I've got a multimeter here ready. Take this off. And we've got this unit right here. And if we come across here with our multimeter, I'll try and get that set up where you can see it. So we've got it wedged into the earth over there. And if we come across here into that, See, we've just got 1.9 volts. If we come to the other side, we've got 12 volts just about. So the power is going into this unit, but it's not coming back out this side. And it's not the connection, because you can see if we hold it even up here, so it's not because we've got corrosion around the bolt. Anywhere above here, we've only got 2 volts. So power's going in here, but we're not getting it out on the other side, so. If I bridge power from here to here, the car will start. And I'll go inside now and I'll show you what I mean by it's not starting. I'll get the diagnostic codes up in a minute as well. I haven't even connected that yet because we've already seen this car before. As you can see, uh, turn the key all the way and it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I think I only need two tools for this, which is the screwdriver and a 13mm bolt. We'll get these two bolts out and then we'll swap the part over. Okay, so let's get this in reverse. Let's get these two bolts out here. So that's one and two from here and here. Now we should be able to get a screwdriver under there, wedge it out sort of just pull it from the bottom there we go now we need to disconnect the plug so I just needed my two hands for that there we go that's unplugged now so hopefully this is the right part number yep it's exactly the same but you can see that one is fairly old and this one is quite fresh so by replacing this we should now get a power supply you see if we look at it here, we've got the power supply going in here, and then it should go through the circuit board back out here. Get those tightened back in. Okay, set back up our multimeter. Getting lost for words there. Alright, so we check here, 11.8. Now let's check this side, 11.8 as well. So now I'm pretty confident that this car should start. We are getting voltage across now, so it should be fine. Let's go inside. Yep, there we go. So we're probably going to have loads of errors pop up now. Yeah, we had all this last time. Obviously the last time I came here we couldn't get hold of the part. We'll use the Eurotab 3 from Launch UK here again. We're going to do the intelligent diagnose. So I'll hit the high speed scan. Let it go through all of the modules here. Let's see what sort of beeping are we getting up there. So braking system. Not quite finished yet, we're nearly there. Hopefully, now that we've fitted that part, most of these that are false will disappear. 
but uh, there was a bit of an ongoing issue with this car that I'll tell you some of the story in a minute. So it's, actually, I don't remember, was it either Halfords Auto Centre, Quick Fit or RAC? She's got a warranty with one or the other. And they've been out to this vehicle a number of times. Uh, at least three batteries were fitted to it under warranty. Parameters present in the BSI. Front door unexpected reinitializations from that. Right, let's just press clear. Is that working? Clear the faults. Okay, it's got some sort of issue there. We'll uh, go in and do it manually each one by one. Okay, so that's the fault cleared, and we've got one left there in the radio. We're not really too concerned about that. Now we just come outside and we're going to confirm that we've got 14 volts at least on the charging system. So the battery is charging. Like I said, that battery was replaced three times. So she's got three other batteries that they were nice enough to let her keep, really. But um, a bit of a strange... I, I'm, I've never really heard of that before, but each time they, they've come out three times and put a new battery in it. So she's got three other batteries in there, plus this one that's fitted to it. And they left her keep the other three batteries in her house because they said they can't return them uh, because they're now used. So they left her keep them, which was kind of nice, but it would have been better if they could fix the car, I suppose. So that's it, we're all finished really. I've taken it around the block, and I'll see you on the next video.